Welcome to the Supper Club, let me tell you. Oh, we hit an estate sale that was enormous. Oh, now we're into Tamiya. So cool. Now this is 135th scale. This is part four. Man, the work day's over and it's time to escape. Man, that was a long day at work. Let's go into the corner of the garage. I cleaned out a space where we can escape to our childhood, to creativity, to the wildness of model making. This was the time and the place. And look at that price tag. You can't even barely buy anything for a buck anymore. We're in the garage and we're rocking it tonight. Are you ready for part four? Oh, so much more. Lechner Panzer Spavwagen. Oh, look at that thing. That is pretty nice. Tamiyas are usually fantastic kits. Here's all the variations you can get in this series. That's Is this open? It sure is. Oh, look at that. Look at the mesh in there. Pretty cool detail. Oh, I do like the slightly bigger scale. You can see it a little bit better. Oh, look at this. You get a little Tamiya glue thing. Oh, look at these instructions. Sweet. Can you read all that? I know someone out there can. 1939, I read. Look at this chart. It means something, but I don't know. Oh, look at this. So detailed, so much information. Oh, look. We've got a guy telling you what to do. Just so cool. Carefully put this all back in the package. Make sure it all fits flat. Put the box on without ripping the corners and you'll be happy. Oh, the Schwimmen wagon. This one floats. 35. 135th scale, military miniature series number three. Oh, that is pretty nice. And it goes with those military figures. Here's all the extra kits you can get. Tiger. Whoa. 
hunting tiger. We saw that somewhere. We saw it in the um, photo edge. Oh, look, another stink bug. He's like, I want out of here. <laughs> okay, go free, little stink bug. Oh, look at this Vimmin sh sh wagon. Look at this. This is a new piece. Whoa, this thing is tiny. Look, it's tiny, but look how much information is on there. All these different kits. Hundred and fifty kits. Whoa, and here they all are. Again, some of these are probably made and then quickly um, stopped because they didn't sell or too hard or the molds were bad or something. But man, look at all these different options that Tamiya offered us. So cool, so cool. This, the little jeeps, very sweet. Military medical guys. Oh, that is wild. All you guys. Looks like you got three guys. And you can position the arms wherever you want. Again, you get a little tube of glue. This one's slightly different. Uh, design and then the other one got all sorts of writing on it got all that oh, look at this Shows you all the decals and what to do, how to paint camouflage. And then here is building. Looks pretty simple on this one. That one's pretty simple. Look, here's here it is all together. The diorama. Very sweet. Oh, put that on the box so it flattens out. Put the box on. Get a box on here. Oh, a Panzer Kampf wagon. Two. Nice. Seems kind of tiny, but. Yes. Here's all your other ones. Panther. Tiger. Tiger. Oh, Japan tank. Japanese tank. Oh, that one's cool. Box pretty nice. Look at this. Shows the diorama. Here's all your infantry and men, the guns. Base. Got your little glue tube. Panzer pump wagon. That's a lot of writing. A lot of weed. No one reads these days. Give you all the information you need for this kit. There's your chart. Pretty cool. Oh, look at 
look at that, it shows you kind of their attack and what they did where. So a little history lesson shows you insignias on where to go and how to put your infantrymen together. Wow. Very interesting. And then here's instructions. Just one side, simply dimply do that. Oh, you look like a bear. <laughs> A lot of little details on this one. And then here it is, final build. There it's sweet. Shows your infantry men on the side. How to paint them. Position guns, a weapon grade, their packs, ammo. And then it shows you each sprue setup where everything is so you can find it easily. Nice. Oh, let's fold this back up. Get it back in the box. Military miniatures, Tamiya 150, 135th scale, U.S. Infantry, West European Theater. Oh, this is just so cool. It shows you all the different divisions. Rankings. And here, the kit. Here's the different infantry men. And how they should be painted. And the Tommy Gun Man. Pause this and read all this information. It was very cool. How does this box open? It might be. You know how should we take a look? Oh, look at this. You can just cut the tab. They've got guys on there. <laughs> that is cool. Look at that. Field jacket. Front and back. And here's their shovel. Here, all your guys and all the different positions, their weaponry, their accessories. All pieces falling off in the trees in there. It's okay. Very cool. So, if this has, is this a detail? It sure does. Did you remember to include your payment? Clearly print. Look at this. What is this for? Order now at Tamiya Catalog for $10. Oh, you get a shirt for $10. And $5, you get a catalog. And it does say prices subject to change. So, is there something printed on this one? Sure enough, look. Oh, careful not to rip. These are locked tabs, the way they're cut. Front and back. That is nice. Oh, that is cool. 
they are using every inch of this box and printing to do it up proud. Uh, I'm going to lay this flat somehow, but I'm sure they just folded this in half and just shoved everything in it like this. Maybe I'll just continue to do that. Because otherwise, nah, I'm going to try and flatten it out. We'll see. Oh, goofy goober. But if you take the time to put it back right, you know, it, it'll stack. It'll do everything it needs to do. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Okay, I got it back in, and here we are closing up the box. And I don't think I showed you this side. Look at this shows you how to paint or how to decorate each component in there depending on how you're building your diorama that is very cool very cool oh look at this one German assault troop infantry 135th scale oh, we got glare we got glare you know why we got glare this thing is still sealed I'm not opening it here's all your different Helmet, uh, brigades, and different divisions. Maybe we've got another one that's open. that they were going to use. Now this looks like the ones that we pulled out of that Messerschmitt box. Some of these. I wonder what's on the flap of those boxes military German machine gun troop 135th scale and infantry very cool here's their weaponry Side. You've got all your different divisions again. So that's pretty much the same. But this is all the details that win you the awards at the at the shows, you know what I mean? So carefully try and get these out. Now on this flap, you've got some hat insignias. Let's see what this shows us here. Oh, all sorts of good stuff in here. Model Club of America. Nice. This has a lot of info on it. So you could join the Model Club of America. For their RC cars. Here's your membership application form. Payment information. Here's your again your flyer where you can order a catalog or t-shirt. Oh look at this. Look at this catalog. It's pretty shiny and nice. Again, advancing the sales if they can. To 
Mia, I mean, they're into everything. Toy and car related, all the cool stuff. Look at all this. I've seen a couple of those kits. Oh, look at this. It opens up into four color beauty. Big remote control tanks are really wild. Uh, if you have time, go look at some of those remote control trucks and stuff happening. I've been watching those videos lately. Very cool. Here's some more. Oh, wow. Like I said, they make a little bit of everything. And then, look at this. Here's all your kits and numbers. So you know exactly what model kit it is and what is the kit number. Boy. It's just a hundred billion of these. But again, you can stop this and look at any of these at any point. There's a Tomcat from my big T-Cat guy. Oh, I know you guys are skipping through and fast forwarding through some of this stuff. But man, if you ever need reference material, this is it. have to show this again once we run across one which is good but again these are look at this you got a lunchbox kit number 5863 who knew who knew what even a lunchbox was <laughs> I wonder if it's like a banana splits lunchbox or the hair bear bunch lunchbox oh, that's it this is amazing and here's your instructions just tiny tiny little stuff showing you infantry platoons and what they would go through shows how to put together the gun and then I guess the rest you just figure out yourself here's a decal sheet Gives you the little insignias for the helmets. Oh, upside down. And this is what was missing out of the other one. I was hoping there might be a decal sheet, but there wasn't. So I'm going to put this all back into this folder type of setup. So hopefully the papers don't get lost. And here's your guys. Weapons, accessories. Very cool. Oh, let's see what's on the other side of this. Because if they're using these flaps, that's kind of cool. Just careful on these lock tabs. National Defense Troops. Collar insignia, shoulder insignia. There you go. So we'll tuck that guy back in there. And hopefully load this all carefully into place. Get it all squared up. And it should slide right back in there. Ah, oh, beautifully. Just take your time. There's plenty of time. Okay, and close it up. Get that lock catch in. And we're good to go. So this is the exact same one. We got two of them. That's cool.
Well, let me tell you, don't hang out with the wrong guys! Stay away from weird people. Choose your friends. Don't let weirdos follow you. Oh, unless they're toy car case guys who love John and Roman's Supper Club. <laughs> I think we're all a little crazy. But let me tell you, we're going to show you good cars, clean cars. It's free! All you have to do is subscribe. Relive those childhood memories. Come to one event, come to them all. We've got videos all the time. Oh, I get so excited when the toy cars come out. Check out the Toy Car Case YouTube channel and subscribe. Oh, let's look at this. Ah, uh, the Kubo, Kubo Wagon. It's a Volkswagen thing. The predecessor. Kind of nice. Here's your accessories. Again, this does not have a UPC code on it. Oh yeah, it does. Never mind. Here's a tiny one. Oh, just sweet. Yeah, the 135th scale is the size for me. I really dig it. Got your little glue in there and your infantry man. This is very good. Looker good. Here's a Stewart. U.S. Light Tank. M3. Fully detailed plastic kit. Stewart. Oh, that's kind of sweet looking. Here's all your writing. More writing. Here's your other kits available. A six pound anti tank gun. 88 millimeter. That thing was wicked. I had one of those as a kid. Not the real thing. But I had one of those as a pull behind on a model kit. It was so cool. Oh, look at this thing. The treads are in the plastic and it is an octopus, but I guess that's okay. Decals in there. Nice. Oh, look at this little thing. Motorcycle with a tank tread on it. It's the Ketten Craft uh, Ride. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Ich sprechen nix. Ah. Look at that. My dad only taught me a little German. It was hast du deine Hose full of gemachen. And kids, you can only ask infants about their diapers. That. Look at that. Here's the same gun. Oh no, here's a Russian field car. Pretty cool. Oh, the half track. So sweet. this. That is wild. Here's your guys, one walking, sitting. Still in the box, sealed. Now this one doesn't come with glue. Got glue on my fingers. Oh, not right. Anyways, look at this thing. I'm digging that. Gives a little history. Here's your different men, how to paint them and situate all the pieces and parts on it. Comes with a little trailer. I'm set it up, that's pretty sweet. And the instructions on how to build this. Wow. Look at 
that. I'm digging that thing. Motorcycle front and tank back. Oh, here's your guy telling us some information to read. Looks friendly. Here's your driver. Walker. Shows you the colors to paint. Another walker. The screws with all the different pieces on it so you can figure out where everything is. That is nice. I like that one. So cool. Look at that thing. Just neat. A little tiny trailer on it. Uh, digging it. Look at that. US light tank. M5A1. Scale that guy on that tank. Here's all the different. Oh, that would be cool. That's why they show you the pictures to get you wanting to buy another one. I'm liking that one too. The bulldog tank. Let's see what's in there. Nice instructions. Your Japanese writing. You can read all that. Slow it down. Pause it. Painting and applying decals. Oh. Again, all the details, all the instructions, and how to make things happen, your options on how to build it or customize it to your liking. That's a nice size little tank going on. Oh, you do have your glue in the bottom there, see it? Very nice. Oh boy, oh boy. Let's see what this next one is. A howitzer motor carriage M8. Look at that stubby. Got a big piece of tape on there. On the box. Maybe it started. Just looked at. Got some sticker on there. Usually when they put a sticker on a box, they screwed up on the actual packaging and they gotta put a sticker to correct it. A lot of labor intensive and cost. This is kind of like the other one we saw. Let's see what we got inside of this. Oh ho ho. Look at that. Here's a flyer on Tamiya paint how to finish your model to turn it into a masterpiece. 
Again, here is some great information. And colors. How to use on any material. Over painting and shading. And camouflage. Requires no special handling. All your different colors. Here's more colors. Professional re results with, to me, as paint markers. So you just use a magic marker. Who knew? Ah, uh, oh, you guys, you want me to look at that detailing the trim around your windshields. Carbon, car bodies. Nice for your your uh, RC cars. Here's all your brushes. Nice little flyer printed in Japan. Here's our flyer we saw before. Oh, look at this tank though. This is this is amazing. So cool. All in the plastic, ready to rock and roll to be built. Here's our instructions. Very nice. Now this one opens side to side, unlike the other ones. And it's in English. Very nice. So all that stuff on the other ones said all this. Very fun. Here's your, your guy. On how to paint him. Bottom, so they flatten out. A little bigger, this one's a little flatter. Make sure everything's inside the box so it can close up beautifully. So that's a howitzer. And this is an M3. Nice. Lee. All the lighting on it. Now this one looks like it was faded. That picture was faded. I don't know if it was a printing and the sun faded it. Here's all the different tanks you can get. Build your collection. Again, this is 135th scale, which is sweet. Oh, look at that. Very nice. Boy, oh boy. These directions are amazing. These are a lot of details, but well worth looking at all that detail on there. So cool. Show you actual pictures on what things are looking like. Very neat for those detail shots. Looking for a date. I don't see a date. That's okay. Again, sealed kit. Pretty sweet. Oh, these 
change models are just amazing. Here's another half track. Now I know this one's in there because this one's sealed. and parts. But that's okay. These are other tanks that you can get. Bottoms just craft. That is one nice kit. Here's our last in this stack. A German SD KFZ 259 135th scale. A little half track. This is what Tom Daniels designed his Rommel's rod over. One of these German half tracks. Totally cool. Elusive kit. Hard to find. Oh, but. Can we get into it? Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, look at that. That is so wild. Love the color it's molded in. Some of your figures in with parts. Here's your little blue thing. Tube. Oh, look at all these parts. So many cool parts. I wish kids would build models today. Uh, get some great hand skills in there and some other stuff. Fine motor skills. Some talents on actually constructing stuff. And satisfaction when you're done. But Soda Pop will say it's satisfaction when you finish a, a game series too, so keep the way you look at it. Here's that friendly guy again. Reading all that. Showing you how to put together things, the treads. Oh, here's individual treads. My friend would not do that. <laughs> Come on, they just snap together. No big whoop to do. Oh, look at this. This is a separate sheet. Interesting. Showing painting and all the different sprues and what's on each sprue. Part numbers, which is nice. I always like that. Shows where to put the decals, how to do it. Cutting them out. This is new. Yeah. Building your gun. Oh. Look at that. That is so cool. That is. This is a sweet kit. Very cool, very cool. Oh, let's get this all back in carefully. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Then we got, guess what? Our next stack. We took one right out of the middle. Now that's our next stack. Ready? Let me switch this out. I'll be right back. And this video is done. Oh, is this cool or what? I know you're sleeping, but I love it. I love it. Thanks for watching. We're going to get back to cars real soon. Oh, I had to take a little break to models and military. Love it. Thanks, guys. So cool on some of these kits. Just amazing. Rock on my brothers and sisters!
thanks for coming into the supper club. It is 316. I know you're a toy car case guy out there. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out. Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be!